prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here. Uh, we're out of the man cave today. Today's video, I want to do an unboxing of something I've had for about two weeks that I've been really wanting to try. I've got a Bluetooth OBD2 interface for plugging into my Subaru STI. And uh, we're going to give it a try with the Google Nexus 7 and see if it works. Here is the device, straight out of Taiwan. Um, it literally took like two, three weeks to get here, and I think it was like only like 24 bucks or something. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, I'll go ahead and put in the description where exactly I purchased it from in case you guys want one. It was kind of weird and hard to find. But let's go ahead and hook it up and see how it works. All right, hopefully we can get a good visual on this. But if you look up under the dash, that's the OBD2 port. Depending on your car, it can be in several locations, but usually it's down around in this area up above the pedals. So we're going to go ahead and plug the unit into that. There we go. Looks like we're all plugged in. Awesome. All right, one of the programs we're going to try here is on the Google Marketplace. It's called Torque Light. I imagine there's a pay version of it that does more. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see if I can get this thing paired up with the Bluetooth OBD2 adapter and see if we can get some real-time telemetry on the screen. Okay, we're going ahead and pairing up with the device. I found it. It's named OBD2. That's convenient. Now we've got to enter the pin. There we go. We're paired. The pin number was 1234. All right, we just opened up the Torque application. I apologize if the camera's not picking this up very well, but it wants me to agree to Chula, and it says that there's a better version of it. Go ahead and just hit OK. And uh, let's see. It says checking proto automatic search. Um, it claims that it's all sunk up. I see all the icons, so let's uh, let's see what happens when we start the car. All right, we got the car running, and it's sunk up with the software. Now this is just one of many software packages that are offered on the Android Marketplace. But uh, as you can see, all I did was plug the adapter in, and as soon as I started the car, once I paired it to the to the tablet through the little pairing menu in the system, um, it found it immediately and started giving me telemetry. Uh, hopefully this is in focus. I'm sorry guys, I'm using the flip video just because uh, I'm moving around in confined spaces and that 5D Mark II is way too big. Um, but you can see I'll go ahead, uh, the, it's delayed a little bit, the OBD2 stuff isn't completely real time, um, the pulling. So I'll show you, I'll rev up the engine, you'll be able to see the RPMs climb. Then down below you can see I have the throttle position. Woo, blow off, my neighbors are probably pissed. Uh, so you can see right there, you got the RPMs, I've got some data down here. I don't know if it'll turn out on the actual video, but uh, it looks like you can pull most of the sensors. If you hold down the button here, so if you hold your finger down in this Torque app like that, it brings up a menu that says, okay, do you want to add a display? So you click add display, you can add a dial, a graph, a display, a fuel air style widget. So like, let's say we want a graph. So we click a graph. Now it shows me all the sensors that are available on my car, like O2 sensor, mile per gallon, fuel trim, uh, let's see, fuel pressure, uh, turbo boost gauge. All right, so let's open up the turbo boost gauge. You can add it a small, medium, or large. We'll go ahead and make it a large gauge. And now we got boost. You can see it, you can see it working there. See the spike? That's pretty damn cool. So you can see right there, now I've got a digital dashboard. You can add as many as you want. You can flip between screens and add. I mean, you could add literally every gadget in this thing and just scroll back and forth. And uh, it's pretty awesome. And the Pro version does data logging too. So uh, I'm going to play around with it more. It looks like, oh, actually it even supports that. So you can put it on the side. So if you want, we can even uh, replace my existing dashboard with my Nexus 7. I should just drive around like that. <laughs> But uh, actually, it works pretty good. Uh, I like the Bluetooth Freedom, because now I'll be able to get a mount that just put it on my windshield, and that'll be all nice and convenient. Uh, and uh, it was really easy to set up. I used to have an old-style OBD2 reader that plugged in via serial, and that thing was a freaking nightmare to set up. This is, this is actually really, really cool. So... I can't really complain. I mean, it was pretty inexpensive. It's OBD2. It's out of the way. I like the way that it recesses. You know, it's short enough that it stays up in the dashboard. It's not hanging off of there. 
and uh, it'd be really cool for data logging. If you have air codes and stuff, there's apps on here to, to check the OBD2 and turn off your ECU light and all kinds of stuff. So if you have engine code problems, you can turn those off or figure out what they are and fix them yourself instead of giving AutoZone like $200 million for some like crack addicted dude to like change out everything on your car and charge you for it. Um, I apologize if you're watching this and you are that crack addicted dude charging everybody all that money. Uh, I didn't I didn't want you to find out this way. Anyways, uh, it's uh, pretty cool. So I recommend this one. This is definitely one of those nerdy gadgets. I mean, not a lot of people have a freaking you know Bluetooth OBD2 scanner connected to you know a Google Nexus laptop or a tablet. So uh, totally worth getting. So, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. It was nice to get out of the man cave, you know. We, we spend a lot of time in there, so uh, now we're in the car. <laughs> but I uh, uh, hope you guys had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to buy this, just check out the description. I'll have a link down there where I purchased it from or information on how you can find one just like it. And uh, the application is just called Torque, and you can just search the marketplace for OBD2, the number two. And uh, you'll find lots of apps that actually support it. And it's cool because you just pair it up through Bluetooth. It's that simple. All right, take it easy, guys. Until next time. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Please subscribe if you like my channel. And if you don't like my channel, subscribe anyways. Otherwise, the cat gets it. I am serious. You don't even know how serious I am, man. I will take this cat's head off with this Minecraft sword. It'll do it. It'll do it. So hit that subscribe button. And share my videos because I am desperate for more viewers. Because if you don't, I'll get the pickaxe too. You don't want that.